So queen takes b4, bishop takes, a takes. And now knight jumps into f6. Now, black could have done a lot of things here, but knight to f6 was coming no matter what, forcing the king away. And if we just pause here for a moment, you can take a bishop, a rook, or play knight g5, knight f7, which is made. It wouldn't happen, but it's a threat. And Leela just takes back and is down five points of material. But the biggest problem for white is not the queen. It's the two-on-one that could potentially distract the white pieces from their task. So Leela attacks the bishop and freezes black's position. Now black can't move the pawns and white has a free hand at just expanding and suffocating. This is a little bit of shuffling, but it finally plays the move pawn to f4. And then here it comes up with a nasty idea. Kaboom. If you take with the bishop, it's made on the back rank. So in the meanwhile, we take the bishop, we back up the check, your king starts running, we attack your queen, and we take the pawn on h7 because that is the only way we will get to the g5 square. And black is bullied, their pieces are bouncing around, and now the queen is lost. Because if you play king to e7, I will check you and take this and your other rook. So you sack your queen. And this is perhaps the most savage moment of the game as Leela, although sacking a queen for those two pieces is bad enough, doesn't even take the rook. It doesn't want to lose the knight. So what it does, it waits for black and then finally threatens mate. And now it's guaranteed to win a rook and just brings the king to f3. And Stockfish resigned.